Hey guys, uh, I wanted to do a little walk around of the turbo hybrid ball wheel drive mini bike here. Um, show you some of the stuff that I made to make it work. So let's see. Um, I'll talk about the electronic stuff. Basically, this is a heat sink for the motor controller back here. Um, this is a cycle analyst computer. Uh, uh, it's really helpful for wattage limits and making the uh, motor idiot proof so you can't overheat it on accident. Uh, this is the hub motor. It's a direct drive hub motor. And this is the torque mount I had to make to be able to apply the torque, spin it around the axle. And I made some little 3D printed wire clips here. And then uh, here you can see the turbo, little turbo. And oil line, I wrapped it with this fiberglass wrap. I don't know why. So, right now it's running at um, 14S, nominal voltage of 52 volts. Hot off the charger, it's about 59 volts. Uh, I have a circuit breaker switch here and battery pack mounted right up under there. So, the setup wasn't as powerful as I'd hoped. It tops off at probably 22 miles per hour, but I was hoping for more um, burnout kind of style torque, sort of like the gear the geared hub motors give. But uh, I think if I change the controller out to one that has more amperage capability, it will uh, almost double the torque and uh, the cycle analyst thing here will keep everything um, from frying once it starts getting hot because basically this is a all-wheel drive the front wheel drive you only use it when you need it going up a hill or something so it's really only intermittent use which is ideal for these kind of motors because you could put a lot more power through them than uh, running it continuous so this thing makes, I think, not even a two, two horsepower, but it's an extra two horsepower. I mean, this little motor only makes eight or nine stock, I think. So it's a little help. And uh, once I put the other higher amperage controller, I'm hoping to maybe almost double that, but we'll see about that when we get it, how it works. So anyway, I'm gonna, down here on the other side of the border, gonna put this thing through its paces and see how it works up, climbing up some hills and stuff. And hopefully it works. I mean, this motor, like I said, it doesn't rip off the zero RPM like the geared hub motors do, but right around 10 miles per hour is where it starts to get a little bit of grunt. So you gotta be moving for it to uh, be helping you out at all right off the line yeah, it's pretty slow but that's why we got the turbo 125 and this thing is geared really low as is rear wheel drive climbs hills pretty well so my goal is to get up some hills that I wasn't able to before with this hub motor Another beautiful day in the neighborhood Whenever she's near me, she's 
She's got me wishing for something that's missing. Staring at stars, getting high on her kissing. Now I got my girl, my girl got me. We're making plans for a family. Someone can anyone hear me? The girl of my dreams just told me that she loves me. She whispered, and I was consumed so completely. Lost in the love that I feel whenever she's near me. Together we'll stay. Come what may, nothing come between us or get in our way. This is for me, a really big deal. At last we found someone who knows how we feel. I gotta tell someone, can anyone hear me? The girl of my dreams just told me that she loves me. Yeah. She whispered in my heart, was consumed so completely Lost in the love that I feel whenever she's near me She took me out walking, I should not be talking Bird in my ear, but I'm telling you not If I were you, you know what I'd do Get one of your own so you can whisper to Well, I gotta tell someone Can anyone hear me? The girl of my dreams just told me that she loves me you whispered in I heard was consumed so completely lost in the love that I feel whenever she's near I gotta tell someone can anyone hear me the girl of my dreams just told me that she loves me she whispered in I heard was consumed so completely lost in the love that I feel whenever she's near me. What a beautiful day. So, uh, one other thing I wanted to point out here was. Uh, these independent throttles so you have one for the front motor and then one for the rear and what I realize is it's not so easy when you're scrambling up a hill to operate both of these and keep your grip real tight when you're kind of just hanging on white knuckle so maybe I'll try and make a way to integrate those and put the, this on a switch so you have a all-wheel drive switch type thing but uh, otherwise, it's hard to tell in the video, but it definitely feels like it pulls up the hills a lot better, but a little more out of control also. So um, still, it's a lot of fun. So that's the main point. <laughs> I 
So I have uh, another issue kind of with the throttle. You can fully program it and see your outputs and everything. I know this audio price sucks. Um, so yeah, you can see I kind of limited it so we didn't have so much travel here and it was less awkward. But you could program it to whatever, in uh, wherever you want it to start and wherever you want it to go wide open throttle. But it's pretty limited and with a limited power, it's pretty much on or off. So, um, and it's kind of like a little bit of delay too, which I don't like. So maybe I'll try plugging the throttle directly into the controller instead of going through the computer here. And maybe that will get rid of some of the delay. And then hopefully the new controller I'm gonna get will not have this issue also. It's gonna have more power, but. And yeah. Let's charge this up again and go for a few more test runs up some hills.